percentage composition experiment is aimed to understand analysis in chemistry and to determine percentage of barium in a sample. Chemical analysis is divided into two sides. Qualitative analysis deals with the identification of elements or compounds in the unknown sample, such as barium ion. Quantitative analysis is attempt to answer the question involving how much success, how much percentage of barium in the sample. There are two major techniques in quantitative analysis, gravimetric analysis and volumetric analysis. Next week, students will understand more about volumetric analysis. So this week, Students will allow to do precipitation and then calculate percentage of barium in an unknown sample. Precipitation technique is the process of converting the analyzed sample or unknown sample to an insoluble product by adding a chemical so-called precipitant. The precipitate might be obtained from coagulate or precipitate or light precipitate called suspension. The precipitate is separated from the solution by filtration. So this technique needs to choose the right precipitant that can completely precipitate the sample. And the precipitate should exhibit low solubility. In this experiment, an unknown sample having barium ion. Once dissolving in water, barium ion is obtained. Then sulfuric acid precipitant, which having sulfate anion, is added. As soon as these two ions meet, white precipitate of barium sulfate is formed. Precipitation reactions start from barium ion and sulfate ion which are clear solution. Once these two solutions are mixed, white precipitate are clearly seen. What is the meaning of the chemical formula? Or what is the chemical formula hinted? From the periodic table, students understand atomic weight of the elements such as barium atom. Is weight 137 gram per mole. Oxygen is 16, sulfur 32, chlorine 35.5, and hydrogen is about 1 gram per mole. Once compounds are produced, the molecular weight of the compound will be obtained from addition of atomic weight. For example, the formula of barium sulfate is shown like this. The molecular weight of this compound is equal to barium is 137 plus sulfur is 32 plus oxygen is 16. They have four atoms. So it is equal to 233 gram per mole. So what is the meaning of this number? It means that if we weigh barium sulfate of 233 gram, it will contain barium of 137 grams. So we extrapolate to 100 gram. It will have barium of 137 times 100 and divide by 233. So it is equal to about 58%. It means that barium sulfate contains barium about 58%. In experiment, each group of students will get an ionic compound containing barium. Once it reacts with sulfuric acid, white precipitate of barium sulfate will be formed. Hence, the method of the determination of barium in barium sulfate 
includes seven steps. Sample weighting to get exactly weight. Sample dissolution to break down the barium compound into barium ion. Precipitation with precipitant, then filtration, purification, drying of the precipitate. After wetting precipitate, the percentage of barium in the sample will be calculated. Now, we will start step by step. First, press a 250 ml beaker on the balance pane. Push tab button to offset the beaker to zero. And an unknown sample is added about one to two grams and record the exact weight. Then 50 ml of hot water is added into the beaker containing sample. Stir to dissolve the sample until clear solution is obtained. Now we are on the significant step, so-called precipitation step. By first, 1 ml or 20 drops of 8 molar hydrochloric acid is added, following by 8 ml of sulfuric acid. The white precipitate occurs right away when sulfuric acid is added. To make easier for filtration, the solution with precipitate is covered with watch glass, heated it for two minutes. This process will help particles coagulate and become larger particles. Then let the solution cool down. During wetting, filtration devices are prepared, including stand and o-ring, a beaker, a glass funnel, and a filter paper. Write the group number using a pencil on the edge of the filter paper and fold exactly in half, then fold in a second time with a slight offset. Tear the corner from the smaller size of the filter paper. The ready filter paper display like this. Place the ready filter paper on the watch glass and record the weight. Open cone and press on the funnel. Get water to stick the filter paper with a glass funnel. Decant the liquid through the thicker part of the filter paper. Make sure no precipitate pass through. When the liquid is almost drawn out, wash the precipitate using about 10 ml of water twice. In each washing, decant the filtrate through the filter paper. Final step is transferring white precipitate to the filter paper as sitting with water jet from the wash bottle. When the liquid in the filter paper is dry, pour over white precipitate on the filter paper with 5 ml of acetone. After acetone is dry, move the filter paper with precipitate and press on the watch glass. Then put into the oven at 80 Celsius for 20 minutes. Let the precipitate cool down and wet the precipitate with filter paper and wash glass. All the solution can be disposed into the sink. White precipitate is collected in a prepared container and filter paper disposed in the garbage bin. From the experiment, each group of students obtains the weight of samples. For example, 1.28 grams and the weight of barium sulfate after the precipitation, filtration and drying. For example, 1.52 grams. Don't forget the molecular weight of the barium sulfate is about 233 gram per mole. Now, we do extrapolation to determine 
the percentage of barium in barium sulfate by writing the relationship between barium sulfate and barium. So it's barium sulfate, molecular weight of 133 grams, contain barium 137 grams. But we have barium sulfate, only 1.52 grams. So it can be calculated the barium of 137 times 1.52 divided by 233. It is equal to 0 0.89 gram. We have barium sulfate after precipitation contain the barium about 0 0.89 gram. We do more calculation. By right now, we have barriums of 0 0.89 gram from the sample right here. So we can write down sample of 1.28 grams contain barium about 0 0.89 grams. We extrapolate to do 100 gram. We get 0 0.89 times 100 and divide by 1.28. So we will get the percentage of barium in the sample. It's about 69.53. The question is, if the sample is from barium collide to crystal, how much the other? What does this mean with this question? It means that we have a sample, unknown sample is barium collide to crystal. And we do experiment by precipitation, we got barium sulfate. From the calculation of the barium sulfate, we get barium of 69.53%. So, what is the barium in this unknown sample? We need to calculate the percent. By knowing the molecular weight of barium collide to crystal, it's barium 107 and chlorine 35 with two atoms, and water molecular weight is 18 times 2 is 36, so it's totally 244 gram per mole. The relationship between molecular weight and barium is like this. So we extrapolate to 100 gram. We will get barium of 137 times 100 and divided by 244 is equal to 56.12 gram. This number means the percent of barium in barium collide to crystal is about 56.12%. So now we got this number and this number. We can find the percent relative earlier. So this one is 69.53. So it's equal to this is experiment, this is uh, from theory. So it is 69.53 minus 56.15 divided by 56.15. So this is relative order. In student experiment, we have two results. If the barium from the experiment is more than 56.15 or less than 56.15, please find the reason why the experiment and the data is not equal. If you have any question, please feel free to ask.